Question 15. What is the slope of the line with the equation 2x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0? So let's get to work. Uh, I have 2x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. And again, I will make a note on the side. So there are two ways to get the slope, right? The, um, the slope is equal to you know the y2 minus y1 over x2 over x1. That's rise over run. But we don't have the two points, so we're not going to consider that. So this is how we are going to look at what we are going to look at. Recall that if you have a equation of a line written like this, y is equal to mx plus b. If you have an equation in this form, then the m right here represents the slope. If you have an equation where the, the x has the power is 1, and then the y is to the power of 1, and once you isolate the y, then the number in front of the x, that's the slope. So that's what we are going to do. I need to isolate the y. I want to write this equation in this form. So let's get to work. I have 3y right here. I want to isolate the 3y at least. So I need to make a, I need to first minus the 2x and minus the 6 um, on both sides. So minus 2x minus 6. So I'm going to put minus 2x minus 6. And let me see what we get. This 2 cancel out. And then positive 6 and minus 6 cancel out. I have 3y equals to negative 2x plus sorry, negative 2x minus 6. So I did isolate the 3y part. Now I want to isolate the y. I want to have the y by itself. I don't want the 3 multiplied by the y. So what we are going to do is multiply, sorry, I'm going to, we are going to divide everything by 3. Divide everything by 3. 3 divided by 3, they cancel. So yes, we will isolate the y. And that's equal to, let me put the numbers together. Let me put this as negative 2 over 3 and then x minus 6 over 3, which is minus 2. We're not looking for the whole equation. We're just looking at for the number in front of the x. And that's the slope. So in this case, which is negative 2 third. Let me take a look. Negative 2 third looks like that's choice D. Choice D.